Hey, Serene team, how y'all doing? Yeah, guys, we back again with another one. Like, <laughs> um, okay, so today is what we have officially declared as Wedding Wednesday. So every Wednesday that we possibly can, we'll have a new wedding video uploaded for you guys. So I took a poll on my Instagram and I was asking people what would they like to have us cover next and what won were realistic budgets per vendor. <laughs> <Big one. laughs> so we're going to go over at least what we know and our experiences. These aren't concrete quotes. They're not exactly what we paid. It might be above what we paid. It might be below what we paid. There's no like exact amount, but I can tell you that this was pretty much the budget that I was falling within, that we were falling within, um, and we wouldn't want to pay any more than that, you know. Um, so we did it in the order that we also went for our vendors. Oh, no, we didn't. But I'll read it off in the order that we went to for our vendors. So, <laughs> the first one is the venue. Now, there's so many different variables to how much you're going to pay per person at the venue and the major D fee and what else? What else are you going to pay? Settle down. Um, that's about it, the major D. Um, you just named them. The major that's, D, that's the per the person, pretty much. Um, and then I would also suggest adding a tip into that budget for that's, the... That's part of the maitre d'. No. The maitre d' fee is the guy who was helping us all day, but the lady who was helping me all day, <laughs> I also tipped her as well. Yeah. Settle down. <laughs> so, there's so many variables. The first <laughs> biggest thing is deciding what day you want to get married. Now, we went into that completely blindsided. We were like, we're getting married on a Friday or Saturday, oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, that's the time that's it's popping. Like, we're going to have this lit party on a Friday or a Saturday night. Uh, uh, uh. It's a huge difference. Okay. Saturday. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about, like, Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday, you can get about, oh, and I keep looking down because I took notes for you guys, but, like, Monday through Thursday, you can probably look at a venue, depending on, um, like, higher class if you would like, or if you're okay with, whatever you're okay with, this is just a, a variety of things, but you can go from, like, $100 per person all the way up to, like, $250, 280 per person. Now, I can tell you that pretty much no matter where you go, the chances are extremely high. Dash! That no matter where you go, the chances are extremely high that the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, is your two highest days and then Sunday is another like in between day but Monday through Thursday is definitely your go-to so if you want a higher end venue I would pick a Monday through Thursday day so that it can fall just a little bit above like your budget I guess um and it makes a huge difference guys don't take it for granted because it makes such a humongous difference it's not even a joke Right? That's a huge difference. I know um when people say uh you know traditional wedding days is Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Pick your day that you want. People will say, Oh, you just don't want people to come to your wedding. The ones that love Pick what you works best for you. The ones that love you, even if you pick on Monday, they will be there for you. So pick a day that works within that your budget. Because so that's a huge difference. You could be going from paying from seventy or hundred dollar per person to two eighty. So imagine that big gap. So. Especially if you're paying for this yourself, or even if someone is paying, like if you have a family member, or mother, or aunt, or sister, or whatever that's paying for you, you still don't want to max out the budget that you're given because it just doesn't make any sense when you budget. When you think about it, it doesn't make any sense to pay. 
wedding. Unless you have a small <laughs> wedding. That's another thing. Yeah, besides, if you have a wedding, a wedding of like 500, of, of like 50 to 100 people. It should be good. Then but sure. if you have three, But if you're four, like five. us and you had like, what did we start out with? Like four, mm -hmm. 420. Anyway, that was on our A list. <laughs> <laughs> so then we went down to our B list, which ended up being like 390. Then we went down to our C list, so it ended up being like 360 people. So, yeah. And we'll talk about that in another video as well. Um, so moving on to the next thing, the decorator. Mm. <laughs> That's the big one. You know, coming from That is going to be your biggest spend outside of the wedding venue. <laughs> that I don't so when I was shopping around I got quoted anywhere from like ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars okay plus like I wanted the floor at our wedding venue to be turned all white that would have added on an additional ten thousand dollars no that would have added on ten thousand more dollars I know but um for the what my coffee, it was more than that. I thought it was 10 15 additional. Was it? I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, so I would do 10,000 10, as probably the lowest, and then 20,000. You can find a really great, really great wedding decorator for $20,000. I mean, like, you really can. It's all about like what you must have and what you want to what have. Want, yeah. Everything about a wedding is having an A list, as in like this is who I want, this is what I want, and then a B list as to realistically I'm okay if I get this, if I get that, and then even a C list to say like, all right, you know, I know I wanted this and that, but clearly for my pockets, I'm go, I'm moving on to to C. So decorated for sure, you can get ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars. That's for sure, for sure. And that's something you can't go without, because once you get the and venue, you can't you go need, without your decorator. You need a decorator, okay? And the florist, I mean, you can work with your decorator and see if they'll supply you with your bouquets, with your um, rose petals and stuff like that, so that you don't have to go outside for anything. Um, and you can find a decent decorator within that budget to do all of the above. You really can. Um, now, photography and videography. Another thing for them, for the decorator and the venue, sometimes if you ask the venue, they will tell you what people they work with. You can get yeah. a discount with that. That can help also. Sometimes that's a trick because if you go there, their price is higher than if you ask someone else outside. Outside. So that's another option you guys should also try. Try to work with people that work with the venue or the decorator. All those stuff adds up and saves you money. He doesn't have his ring on, guys. Ah, I know. See, I just take it out, wake up from sleep. I'm gonna put it on before I start my day. So, no biggie. I think you put it on now. Yeah, please. <laughs> you are something else. Really? Okay. Ah, 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 ah. Alright, he has Hello. a great guy. Okay. So, just to cap off on what he said, that's absolutely correct. Most of the time, like, if you're having a hard time finding, um, florist or bakeries for your cake or x y and z the venue can provide discounts now quite frankly to be 100 percent honest with you we didn't go through anybody our vendor our venue recommended just because you know our taste was different what we were looking for as far as the outcome <coughs> of our wedding was a bit like different everything that we wanted to do just seemed different than what the history of the venue was so we were just like oh no now we did get our cake from the bakery that they recommended but that's because it was included <laughs> but even then I wanted the cake decorated a certain kind of way which I can probably insert a picture here 
Um, I wanted the cake decorated a certain kind of way, so we, we still ended up having to pay, but it was only like $50 or $100 or something. That is still something. Yeah, it is still something, but... And we have red, red velvet with a buttercream icing. Mm. All right, all right. Now you make me hungry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so photography and videography, right? Now, starting off, I want to let you guys know that you can really find one person that does both. Like our videographer, I realized that he also does photography. Um, but there was a certain photographer that I wanted, that we wanted. There was a certain photographer that we wanted. So, we actually... Now, if you remember in the previous video, I asked for you guys to keep a budget for your budget that doesn't work out. Okay, so I'll tell you about our little run-in. We had a photographer and a videographer at the beginning. Um, combined, you can probably get the two for like $6,500. When we got our engagement photos taken, it was beautiful. Everything was great. Um, There's no complaints as far as that goes. Customer service was great. Whenever I was texting, I always got a reply. Whenever I called, if I wanted a certain vision, it was just like, okay, we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Um... But, how do I say this, like, professionally? But... You want me to say it? No. <laughs> it was very important to me that all of our vendors... Guys, um, what, <laughs> what she's trying to say is, um, I experienced this, photographer and videographer, I look from the beginning. I look at them. They they like they on the way. They cost too much. Why would they cost too much? But after we take our engagements and what people are saying, which is true, at the end of the day, all we're gonna have is a video and pictures, which we can relive the memories. So we want that to be classic, like something above. Epic. Like. That's what we're gonna be holding on to. So for us to get somebody that can produce that, you have to go above and beyond. So we have to get a top notch photographer and videographer. And trust me, that costs more, but the, it was so worth it though. The end result is good. Yeah. It so was so so worth it. It all depends what do you want and what's your budget. If the end goal is you wanna have something every time you open that book and look at the picture, you leave the memories, nice picture. Look for reviews. Go for the above top notch. Don't settle for less. Yeah. That's what she, she was trying to say. Basically. Okay. So what he was saying is basically right. Like if you want higher end, you got to pay for higher end. Um, what I was going to say is kind of, I mean, he did cover it, but I also was going to let you guys know that everyone's vision is different. Um, meaning like, if I'm going to be dishing out all this money, I take it personal who I'm going to be dishing it out to. Mm -hmm. I don't want to dish it out to someone who doesn't understand our culture, someone who doesn't understand our traditions, someone who, um, you know, doesn't understand what you doesn't understand what my vision is as well as my culture and tradition so that they know exactly what to capture and what moments to look out for that they know is going to happen so that was a big thing for us photography i would budget it separately like without video or anything i would budget like 3500 to 5000 35 is a lower end um and you could probably get some high end photographers for that amount it depends on where you are in the region i think that's the biggest thing it all depends on where you are like if i'm looking for photographers and videographers out of manhattan new york i'm looking at like five thousand sixty five hundred you know what i'm saying but i feel like if i'm looking at photographers videographers from what's the less expensive state <laughs> like um like texas or yeah, texas is texas, is. <laughs> okay. texas or like um Florida or something like that. I feel like I can find like a really great photographer, videographer for like four thousand to to six thousand or something like that. So, 
that's the budget for the photographer. Video will be a bit more because you gotta remember like, they have to edit the entire day for you. So I would say like 4,000 to 6,500 would be like a pretty good budget for them. So that's it on them. The thing is- My our videographer was popping, okay? I will be working with him again. He was popping, okay? Popping. I don't want to tell you guys what I'm going to work with him for, but popping. Our photographer, popping. Okay? Our uh, decorator, popping. Our DJ, popping. Popped. Our DJ popped the entire night, okay? Listen, everyone that we worked with was just great. Everyone. Glass, glass. So the next thing, speaking of the DJ, is the DJ. Go DJ, that's my DJ. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the DJ. I would range anywhere from like 1800 to 2200 And the only reason why I'm giving that is because when not. I mean, I knew who I wanted my DJ to be. So realistically, I didn't shop around for a DJ because I, I already knew. It was just like, boom, I knew, period. But when he gave me the quotes and everything like that, I give the 1800 to 2200 amount because he came with a lot. I mean, like, he came with so much. He really helped us make sure that our guests were, like, very well taken care of. Last minute, we threw in up lighting. Last minute, we threw in a photo booth. Last minute, we threw in the sparkles. Like, um, no, he, I mean, all that for that amount. Like, it's, it's between that amount. It's, um, what I say? 1800 to 2200. So, it was, I mean, it was great. Great. He was great. And that's another thing. All of my vendors that we were, all of our vendors that we worked with, were all so easy to work with, except the venue. But I'm That's not expected. here to bash anyone. <laughs> I'm not here to bash anyone. The venue was beautiful. The maitre d was amazing. My bridal attendant was amazing. So I just gotta be honest with you guys. Like sometimes you have to put your foot down at the venue. Mm -hmm. Put your foot down at the venue. Period. Um, okay, so a wedding coordinator. Our wedding coordinator was great. She was always available. Um, I feel like a reasonable budget for now. We had a day of wedding coordinator, which means she didn't step in until six weeks before the wedding, just because I'm a micromanager anyway. So like I said in the previous video, anything that I had my hands on, I have to, I have to be on top of, I do. There's no lie behind it. I know it's a, my personality and I know sometimes it makes it difficult for somebody to work with, but that's why we weren't really looking for a wedding planner because I feel like with a wedding planner, I still would have been planning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I still would have been planning just because of my personality. Like I'm a full blown micromanager. Like I am very specific about what I like. I don't like to hear the word, no, it can't happen. You just need to tell me how long it will take for it to happen. And, and if you need my help to make it happen, tell me how I can help you to make it happen. That's how I work. So. You know, getting a wedding planner, I don't want any bad vibes. I was just like, I'll take care of it from what I can take care of it. And when things start to crash on me, then we'll have someone take take over, um, which was our wedding coordinator. She did an amazing job. Her and her team did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. Like I said, she was readily available. She was making sure that we were on top of our stuff. The little stuff mm -hmm. that we forgot along the way, like the little stuff counts. Yeah. So make sure she covers all of that. All of it. I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> funny thing i forgot that to make all this even valid that we needed marriage licenses so guess who was on top of that okay she <laughs> okay she was just like um sis no she sent me the link and she's like go down there you need to go down there right next week and x y and z blah 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 the day before the wedding she's like did you pick up your your marriage licenses and we completely forgot so like the morning of our wedding we were <laughs> we were at the we were at the place in Jersey, literally waiting for them to open. Like, okay, you know, you're the nice. only way this is about to be legal. <laughs> Planning a wedding is too much. It's way stressful. 
if you can find someone can help you take that route a wedding coordinator is very very good option for sure she did a lot a lot of stuff we don't have to worry about plenty of things like the day of i didn't get not one phone call i didn't get told that anything she, didn't go right i didn't all of i don't know any of that i didn't even now i didn't know i don't know anything that gone that went wrong within the whole transition into the the day pretty much which is what i requested and i did make it very clear that's why i went this route because <laughs> on the day of I don't want anyone calling me. I, I barely even wanted to be seen. That's to tell you. I let them all go in the whole party bus without me before the wedding to get to the venue just because I didn't even want to be seen because I didn't want people to be complaining about their hair. I didn't want guys to be complaining about their belt. I didn't want to hear anything that day. She had that all covered. <laughs> yes, and I made sure all bases were covered. Everything. I saw everything. But nobody mm. saw me. You know. little spy. <laughs> That's my micromanaging guys. But yeah, um, a coordinator, did you tell them the price range? No, you can tell That's That can range about 25 to 4,000. It depends on the person. And also, all of this depends on the area the event is taking place. Mm -hmm. So. And I suggest finding a coordinator near where you're getting married just because they might know vendors and so forth like florists or last minute things they might know off the top of their head because they're from that area you get what i'm saying so yeah the last two things that we're going to cover in this video is the limo and the airbnb and hotel now i'm going to be honest with you when we were shopping around for limos i was getting quotes of like twenty five hundred dollars <laughs> what? I'm Just not paying twenty five hundred dollars <laughs> for no limo. Is you nuts or is you nuts? So I started looking around for party buses. The quotes were like a thousand plus. I'm not paying that either. So I ended up having to find a limo place in Jersey. I practiced. Well, actually, um, one of my bridesmaids found me a limo place in Jersey. Did she find it or did I find it? I don't remember. I think but did. I, I I think think somebody I did. called you and, and told you about that place and you just called. Yeah. I'm not sure who it was. But it sounds like um, Shanice. Shanice, yeah, in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like that. Yeah, she. I had a bridesmaid that was on top of the limo thing and she was shopping around for me and she was getting all these outrageous quotes and somehow or the other, we ended up stumbling upon this and I pretty much told the guy, I'm like, okay, this is what I need. I need you to split up my three hours because the least package that they do is three hours. So I'm like, give me an hour and a half to get to the limit. So, um, I mentioned, I'm just like, split up my time. Give me an hour and a half in the morning. I mean, give me an hour and a half before the wedding and then give me an hour and a half after the wedding. And he agreed, he was real easy to work with. He was even trying to help me find Airbnb hotels within the area, because he's like, oh my God, you're so late, X, Y, and Z. So that was pretty decent. Now, I'll tell you that took a lot of work, um, but we got a whole party bus for like between five to 700. And it came with drinks on the bus, it came with like everything, it was lit. So the last thing is the Airbnb in the hotel. This, we don't really have a budget for you guys, because um, every wedding, like when I was asking a few people in my family who's gotten married before, they've all given me different answers. Like some of the bride, the former brides mentioned that the girls should be paying for their hotel, the guys pay for their hotel. Some people say like, oh no, I'll j I just paid for the hotel for them and X, Y, and Z. Um, which we did a whole like just one big Airbnb that was supposed to be split up. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be split up. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we ended up doing um, and whatever. So I, I feel like we can't really give you guys an exact amount on that because Airbnbs and hotels, they all vary. They all change. They all, like, I don't, I don't know. We don't have a budget for you guys on that. That's honest. 
Um, if you can do the Airbnb hotel, do it early. Hey, do it early. Yeah, do it so super early. Got to struggle. Um, so what I would say a total for your entire mm -hmm. wedding, if you're looking at about like maybe 150, 160 guests, I feel like you could realistically do all of the above for about maybe like 40, 40 to 50,000. Um, if you're like us and you're looking at a guest list of like 360, I feel like you can do it for anywhere between like 65 to 75,000. I was going to say 60 to 70. <laughs> yeah, somewhere within that range. I mean, not saying that's how much we paid because, mm -hmm. you know, I got, I don't mind asking for discounts. I have no shame in my game, okay? That's all I'm going to say because I don't want to expose anything. But I, you can ask even him, you can ask any of my family members when they want something done for a low rate. Cause I will call you and be I, I just don't take no guys that's what it is so don't think that this is how much we pay for our wedding but I would say like um 60 to 70 65 to 75 thousand that's everything everything um that doesn't include you feeding your vendors that doesn't include your wedding dress that doesn't include you having a rehearsal dinner that doesn't I mean all of the above but that's for another video yep yep guys Pretty much buckle up and ready for that day. Yeah, get started. The end goal is good, trust me. <laughs> every single day, every moment, I, I'm re relieving that. <laughs> so do you have anything to say before I close out the video? Uh, all I was, she says everything. We call it everything. The best goal, like the advice you just said, bargain for discount see who and who work together you can get discount all that stuff if you can do stuff only do it ahead of time that saves you money and time also and stress so real quick do you guys want to hear the most horrifying part to me personally about this wedding <laughs> process and i'm gonna say it because i don't care my makeup artist i scheduled her as the first vendor i mean like i scheduled her before my decorator before the photographer videographer dj coordinator limo mm -hmm. i scheduled her first she's this real well-known makeup artist in jersey okay so i put my deposit in and everything like that then she went ghost so it was about like two weeks before our wedding two maybe like two two and a half weeks i'm blowing her up blowing her up because she never I was supposed to have a bridal trial with her. She canceled on me. We were supposed to reschedule. She never contacted me to reschedule, never contacted me back to reschedule. So I started getting nervous. I'm just like, okay, what's going on? No answer. But she's all up on Instagram, posting about her shop, posting about being a target for her new home and X, Y, and Z or whatever. Um, so then I'm just like, okay, I feel like she's about to be a no call, no show. So I left her a very nice voicemail. And I pretty much canceled her. Um, I sent my request for my deposit back I would, through Cash App because that's how I sent it to her. And I was just like, give my money back because you're unable to be contacted. She literally gave me my money back like a week later. That's the show that the small things can really mess you up. I mean, I had a backup plan anyway because my girls already had a, a makeup artist. So Lord bless, I mean, we were, I was blessed enough that she was able to take me to do my makeup last minute, X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. But till this day, the makeup artist that I originally was supposed to go with mm -hmm. hasn't even contacted me to apologize, hasn't contacted me to explain what's going on. Because I do understand that life happens, but at the same time, like this was someone's big day. Mm -hmm. You know, This wasn't like me just going to a birthday dinner. This was my entire wedding, and she knew that. So that's, that's something that I have to say budget for that type of stuff that's too life. that's life yeah even for the photographer the Surprises, videographer you never know. <laughs> the photographer the videographer we had someone originally we had to cancel them and they refused to give us our money back so we lost out on like twenty seven hundred dollars that's a lot of freaking money for two people that are planning a wedding so this is what i mean when i say you see my reaction on that that's exactly how my face was so losing money Give the money away. 
this is what I mean when I say have a budget, then have a backup budget, then have a, a backup backup budget for anything that you didn't plan or lose money throughout the process. But only thing I think with the invention, um, I think the time the time of the planning of the wedding should also count. When you're planning a wedding, give yourself two years, three years, and start planning. Don't wait till three months or six months. You say you, you want to do a wedding. Do it. The, the longer you try, the better. That's all. Okay, guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and close out this video. Do not forget to hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. <laughs> and hit that bell notification so that every time we post, you guys... <laughs> really? <laughs> so that every time we post, you guys get a notification, okay? And in order to enter into a chance for a post notification shout out in our next video, you have to do all of the above. And then when you're done, you comment, hey, Serene team down at the bottom. All right. I can't wait to see you guys' comments. Please comment down below and let us know what you want the next video to be on. Follow me on Instagram. Do not forget because I do my polls and everything on there. Underscore serenity.xl. Um, and that's it. We love you guys.